So whenever anyone asks us, who are you? I don't know about you, but I reflect back on people in my life who actually taught me who I was and the ultimate eternal destiny that I had within my soul. You see, when I became a teenager and I started dating and hanging out with more of my friends, every single time I left the home, my sweet dad would always say, Dan, remember who you are. And then he would always say, and have a good time. And I would turn back and say, can you make up your mind? Ha. Every single time, though, when I got in a situation at a party, at a dance, or hanging out with my friends, and I was faced with that dilemma, do I do this or do I do that? My dad's words resonated, not just in my head, but it connected my head with my heart and actually elevated my soul. Remember who you are. So when someone says, who are you? Maybe you could just reflect back on a historical truth about King Louis XVI, the ruler of France. When his throne was overthrown, in those days historically, the invading party would murder the royal family and take over. But in this specific case, they captured King Louis XVI's young son, the prince and they whisked him away to a faraway land and decided that instead of killing him, they would kill his spirit. They decided that if they did whatever they knew how to do to destroy his moral character, he would forget that he was heir to the throne and he could go on living his life. So for six months straight, relentlessly, his captors force-fed him food that made him a slave to appetite. They literally dragged him through the gutter and exposed him to every rude, crude, vile, and unrefined thing that you could even imagine. But after six months, his captors were frustrated and sat down the young prince and basically confronted him. Why have you not allowed us to destroy your character? Why have you not caved in? And in his maturity, the young prince I can visualize, sat tall and straight, looked his captor square in the eyes, and he said, I'm sorry, I cannot do what you've asked me to do, for I was born to be a king. Who are you? And in our darkest moments and our toughest decisions, if we'll just reflect on the true answer of who we are and the DNA that we possess and commit to keeping our family name in a good way, and doing what others would want us to do so everybody leaves saying, I like me best when I'm with you, I want to see you again. It's amazing how we will definitely be who we were born to be, knowing another thing that my dad reminded us, you're going to make a lousy somebody else be the best you you can possibly be.